Some consider it a dairy farmer's vacation. We just like the camaraderie and love to watch the show and hopefully you learn something new to take home. It's the 2018 Dairy Carousel and farmers come from far and wide to see who is best in show. A lot of competition and if you come here and win here it means a lot. It can tremendously increase the value of these animals. But it's not just fun and games. We're here to promote the cattle that we breed and it's a way of advertising our herd. Michael Wolf sells cattle as an added source of income for his farm. So when the milk prices are low, why you might sell a little more breeding stock. If you talk to many of these farmers, they'll say that it's a hard business to be in right now. It's really tough, really tough. I mean, people are depressed, discouraged. But it's not from a lack of hard work. Probably uh, the thing that has most impacted prices is that uh, farmers are really good at farming. Daniel Welch is the business planning director at NY FarmNet, an organization that helps family farms with business planning. Welch says that farmers have gotten better at increasing milk production, so much so that it's above the demand. And like with many products, milk is based on supply and demand, but experts say it's a little more complex than that. You can't get in and out of producing milk. You can't flip a switch on cows and decide you're going to um, wait for the prices to rise. So in many cases, farmers are forced to wait it out, take out loans, and be cautious with their spending. Any investment you make in anything now, you really have to look at what your payback is for it. Uh, it's, if it's going to make things just easier or if it's going to actually yield a economic uh, bonus. To buy a new piece of equipment, you're well over 100000 now for anything. A tractor, a simple tractor that you need. Now, Ghost over here and Pixar over here are from Ontario, where there is a quota system for dairy farmers. But in New York, it's not that easy. And Some say that something similar should be in place in New York. Uh, I think the supply issue definitely needs to be addressed. There needs to be a cap or a quota. Uh, so that these larger herds can't grow any larger and even the small herds can't grow any larger. It's an idea that experts say tends to be thrown around during these harder times. You may, this time, since we're in a sustained downturn, uh, we may see some kind of action like that. But with our present economy, Welch says there's only one answer. Uh, the fix is eventually less milk. It's clear that supply is up, but what about the demand? Now, some say that the culture has changed. Families don't sit down to dinner every night and have a gallon of milk, and uh, everyone has a glass with dinner. And many farmers take an issue with non-dairy products that advertise themselves as milk. If we in the milk business did something like that, labeled our stuff as something that it really wasn't, we'd be in big trouble. Others say that the product itself needs to be marketed better. So a lot of people I think there needs to be a better message put through by whoever is doing our advertising. But in a business where it is hard to leave, these farmers seem determined to make it work. So you have to, you know, you ride the high and then you survive the low. Odea Pincus, NCC News.